What is going on, everybody? Welcome. Welcome to this very random Friday night uh, Mystery Knife Giveaway live stream. Uh, I saw an opportunity to do this, realized that Saturday was going to be an absolute mess uh, for us here in House MC. So I decided to do this tonight. You guys have a chance to win something right here. Had a few people speculating in chat before the stream started that it is the brown FSD because it's the same case. No, it is the case for the brown FSD, but the brown is right here. I just got that. That's I'm not giving that away. There's a cool knife there. It's nothing nothing crazy, but uh, it's something that I've got and uh, want to pass on to a lucky winner. Um, so the knife is physically present in there, and we will talk about that later. There's a bonus tonight, a bonus giveaway knife. What could it be? <laughs> it's the freaking knife that I uh, tried to give away two weeks ago. And as I stated, as I always state, when the person whose name is drawn does not claim their prize within seven days, I redraw. So you have a chance to win one of two knives tonight. Normally I give everything away to one person, but uh, I stated the rules. Uh, I said if, you know, I redraw specifically for the knife. So I'll be drawing two separate names tonight. Um, I could have just kept it. I could have just pretended like I mailed it. But that would be dishonest. And I don't I do not do that. <laughs> so uh, somebody's going to win. Um, the uh, I think this is the EDC TAC from Kaiser. It's a button lock knife. S35EN, titanium, and G10. And then I have another knife right there that I'll be giving away. Um, so yeah. Um, the rules right here. Step one, subscribe. Say it with me, even though I can't hear you say it aloud to your iPad, to your TV, to your phone. Subscribe. I'm going to, I'm just going to assume everybody said it with me. Then step two, there's a link in the description. Literally all you have to do is uh, follow that link. It's right at the top of the description. Uh, just uh, go to the video, watch it. It's like a minute long and then um, leave a comment but keep it PG so that YouTube does not filter you because if YouTube filters you for saying a naughty word, then the comment picker thing, the website I use will not pick up your comments. So yeah, there you go. Uh, let me move this, there we go. Just trying to keep it clear. Okay, um, yeah, it feels like it's been a while. It's been two weeks um, and that's because last week I went on vacation um, uh, and uh, it was much needed. <laughs> I took five days off from work and recording videos and it was awesome of course you guys didn't notice that because I always have reserve content but yeah it was nice Chris Tyler welcome the Knights of the Round Knights Razor Swords for Chris Tyler welcome the Knights of the Round uh, TJ Elliott says yo MC I got an XM18 Harpoon Spanto Skinny in Battle Black I'm so stoked making my own little collection of hinders now haha <laughs> I blame you <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, man. That's the gentleman who won the XM24. Um, I bet the I bet you'll find that the XM18 Harpoon Spanto Skinny, which I'm guessing is a three and a half inch variant, carries a lot better <laughs> than the 24. Um, but hey, you know whatever you like. Um, I'm pumped to see you in here again. I'm always always happy to see winners of past giveaways attending more live streams. Um, let's see here. Show us the big boy. Here it is. This goes back to Jim next week. Uh, and he has my, if you've been watching his Instagram, he has my G10 Demco 8020. The, this is, for anybody wondering, this is the PMP Alpha Beast. It is larger than the original PMP Beast or any Medford I've ever handled, <laughs> including the full thickness Praetorian tie. Uh, this was available at Tools for Gents a while back in pre-order, and I have no idea if he'll ever do another run. Um, <laughs> I had somebody leave a link comment under that unboxing. Uh, they were like, this is obviously just a novelty, and it's not meant for serious bushcrafting or something. Like that. Went on and on and on, and I just, I was like, what makes you think that someone's looking at this and going, hmm, uh, is this for bushcraft? Hmm, I don't know. I'm undecided on that. 
my some part of my brain tells me bushcraft. Obviously, obviously. <laughs> uh, let's see here. You would need two belts. <laughs> Yes, it's the best bushcraft knife ever. Exactly. <laughs> uh, how long a wait for hinder knives? They drop all the time. They just are, they're gone lightning fast. Congrats to anybody who picked up the recent, one of the knives from the recent drop uh, at DLT Trading. Speaking of DLT Trading, they just dropped, they brought back the Medford 187 DPT, which is the compound Tanto version of that knife. I assumed it was discontinued because they said that they were discontinuing it. Apparently not. And DLT Trading has an exclusive version of it right now in S90V. I stand by what I said years ago. The 187, especially the DPT, if you can get it in S90V at DLT Trading is the best value Medford in existence. It still is. I think they start at 500 bucks. They have over travel stops now. If you're gonna pick up a Medford, that's the best value one. I got my own issues with the design. I still like that knife. Once they're gone, who knows how long it'll be before they do another run. But if, you, if, you, if you've ever been curious about a Medford, that's the one to get. <clears throat> Use my links for DLT. <clears throat> Sorry, just clearing my throat. <clears throat> just in case you didn't know, there's links in the description <clears throat> for DLT trading. <clears throat> Sorry, weird, weird, uh, weird noise that came out of my mouth. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see here. How's the Chevalier? So Savivi just keeps like dropping. They are hammering on that button lock uh, thing right now. And <sighs> full size, eight inches, three and a half inch blade, sheep's foot, 14C28N. And when it comes out, I think there's a few places that might have had it a little bit. Blade HQ says coming soon. I think these are supposed to drop like today or tomorrow or next week sometime. I can't remember. 70 bucks. Yeah. This is a freaking winner. I, like, do you guys need a full 20 minute review on this? It's a freaking winner. <laughs> it's like the best combination. It's even got a fuller, so you can do the reverse flick. Excellent. They this and they tumbled it. They tumbled it too. Oh yes, Savivi, yes. Now just change this freaking goose dragon pocket clip and it'll be perfect i don't think the brown drop so yeah uh if you <laughs> listen um this is the brown fsd mine's in cpm 20 cv um wow yes and uh, i should have mentioned this in the unboxing yeah this is a liner lock operated button. So it's not a traditional button lock. You can see that there's a liner, sorry. Live stream, zoom, does, there's live, live stream focus apparently does not exist in my live streams. Yeah, it's, it's like the smock, right? Except that you operate this with your index finger. And I gotta say, this actually makes more sense. This feels more natural to operate it this way. And uh, wow, yeah, brown knives, seriously, like, this is, we, we're talking right up there in um, your Herman Knives territory, your, your Koenig Knives territory, anybody who's ever handled a brown, yeah. Uh, these start at 775, probably a bit more, what are they for 20 CV, eight something? I can't remember what I paid for it. I just was like, yes, <laughs> immediately. Uh, the brown FSD is freaking ridiculous. And it's big too, this is a big knife. I want to say this is 8.75 inches, perhaps even a bit bigger. What do I got here that's nine inches? Uh, Riot Jack, 1.5 is nine and a quarter. Yeah, yeah, this is 8.75 to nine inches. Big boy, for sure. Ultra lightweight for how big it is. He has done some serious milling on one side of the scales. Uh, and the balance is just amazing. Super smooth, super awesome. That is an American knife to get your hands on for sure. How's the new watch? I love it. I switched out the bezel to the uh, black ceramic bezel, which I bought with the knife, uh, with the watch, sorry. And uh, I think this looks great. The gray face and the black bezel, um, loving it. Absolutely. Oh, okay. Let's see. 
What do we got here? 224 of you in here already. You guys are awesome. Oh, hey, so we're in the final stretch to 100K. Just crossed over 95,000. We're at 95.1. Uh, let me tell you guys. You have no idea what I have put together for you. <laughs> oh, man. This is going to be an utterly insane giveaway. I'm still gathering things, but I have three ridiculous heavy hitters. Two of these heavy hitters are extremely hard to get your hands on. One of these heavy hitters is impossible to get your hands on. And I mean that. It is not possible to get your hands on one of the things that I'm giving away. Unless you're me, because I got my hands on it. Um, you will all be very, very happy to see uh, what uh, what's being given away. And a pre-thank you to the people who helped make this happen. Uh, you guys are awesome. I cannot wait to show you what I have to give away. It's going to be, I can't, I, I don't want to like try to like, oh, it's so great. It's, it's better than ever, anybody's thing ever, but it is going to be, let's say it's going to be one of the craziest giveaways that has occurred in any recent amount of time on YouTube, I think. At least, at least for my channel. It's definitely going to be the best giveaway that I've ever done, but I, I have a feeling that... <laughs> Everybody who watches this is going to be like, holy crap. I, I know that sounds really pompous and like I'm beating my chest, but I'm so happy and I can't wait to give this stuff away to you guys. So, yeah. Yeah, knife. I'm definitely going to hype this up. Definitely. I'm going to hype the crap out of my 100K because I want people to join in. I want it to be a big deal, right? I'm going to make a big deal out of it. Absolutely. Um, let's see here. He's giving away hundreds of VPs. I don't have the funding for that, <laughs> funny enough. <laughs> uh, the total the total value of the stuff I'm giving away, I can't even I like I honestly don't know. Because it's all like gonna be secondary value because everything is super difficult to get your hands on. The base value of the stuff that I have collected so far to give away. It's it's easily over a grand, uh, but that's not counting secondary value on it. Uh, Jake's cool stuff. Thanks for the donation. I finally got an eclipse. I've been seeking since uh, May last year. Battle Black Harpoon's. I saw that. I saw that on Instagram. Uh, congrats. Uh, I think did I? I think I saw yours. Maybe it was somebody else's. Excuse me. Battle Black Harpoon's Fanto. Check my Insta sometime this weekend for some pics. Okay, so maybe it was yours. Yeah. <laughs> uh let's see is the kaiser original rather new can't find it here in germany yeah the kaiser original is this is freaking awesome uh aluminum button lock thumb stud opener with a nearly fully flat ground blade this is wonderful this is uh 154 cm what do these come in at what are these 85 bucks am i right use my amazon link down below <laughs> <laughs> There's, you can find these there. I think they're 85 bucks. That's a great knife. Uh, let's see here. Oh, uh, I have my factor right here. It's been uh, a, a uh, <laughs> it's absolutely uh, been a joy to carry and use this thing, which I do often. The pocket clip. There's, I don't think you guys can see it, but the pocket clip is very beat up because at this point, it's absolutely a user, and I just don't care. Uh, the magnet has really not been a problem at all. It's just, it's just not. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I mean, that's true, David, but then it's also true of titanium. Like, aluminum does scratch, but titanium also scratches really easily. And, you know, it's like, whatever. You know, I kind of... I like the uh i remember the first aluminum knife that i carried regularly was the original 940 uh and it just got scratched all the heck and i loved how it looked after it looked afterwards because all the corners and edges and things like rubbed through and it just looked cool you know there's a reason that microtech sells uh some of their knives with like the pre-worn look because it i think the aluminum looks great anybody in here who's carrying an aluminum knife that's really been through it 
You guys know exactly what I'm talking about. It just looks cool. Um, let's see. Are you going to get one of those Blade HQ shamans? I'm thinking about it, but I'm also... You guys know what we're in for, right? Like, it's going to happen. The Blade HQ site is going to go down, and it's not because there's a couple hundred people trying to get it at once. There's going to be a crap load of people. I mean, like, any site, any heavily trafficked site is going to crumble under the weight of the demand for this thing. So just be ready. <laughs> You're going to try to get it, and everything's going to crash, and it's going to make people mad, and then everybody's going to come down on Blade HQ, and it's like, it's not like they're, they don't care. They do. It's just a lot of people want that, you know, because stupid people like me are like, hey, everybody, go get it, you know? And then instead of getting mad at me, which, you know, <laughs> I deserve some of the blame, People come down on Blade HQ and I always feel bad. Like, you know, that's what's gonna happen. You guys can blame me. You guys can yell at me. <laughs> Hashtag MC's, partially MC's fault. Um, not, it's not my, I'm not saying like, I send all of the traffic there. I'm just saying I'm partially to blame. Uh, let's see here. I'm waiting for a shaman with Magna Cut. I can almost guarantee it's gonna happen. Uh, it's, it's, it's gonna. MC face reveal. My face is, is on, just go to my channel and go to my live streams and scroll down just a little bit. You can see my face. Uh, my, my face is out there for the world to see. Second to the right looks sweet. You know what this is? It's a, uh, hold on, where's the box? Oh my God. Come on, I just had it. Where'd I put it? Oh, here it is. It's the Terra Mundi and Demco River Wolf. Oh, that snap. Wow, it flips freaking hard. Yeah. Now, these are made in China. Oh, yeah, they're made in China. Uh, but yeah, this is Demco, uh, a John Demco design. Got that, got those Demco ergos. Wow, it flips freaking hard. Oof. Real nice. Fall shut, etc. Um, I think you can still get the River Wolf on some. I mean, I think this White Mountain Knives, did they have them? Or maybe SMKW? I can't remember. Uh, <laughs> I don't see the obsession with Spider Co. They're cool and all, but they are not. OMG, I have to have it now. Totally understandable, Benjamin. That is exactly, I think you'll probably get um, lots of people in here saying the same thing. That's how I was too. I remember thinking like, why? Why would you willingly pay for this freaking run recently run over pelican knife, right? That's like a pelican like, eh, I lived, but I'm definitely injured, please. <laughs> That's what it looks like. And then you get one and you carry it and you use it and you go, oh, I like this thing for how it functions and definitely how it looks. I can't say, outside of the Shaman, I can't say there's any spider code that I really love how it looks. But I do like how they function. Not everybody's going to feel that way, but that that's a lot of people's journey into spider Uh Yato Kami, thanks for donation. Hey, MC was wondering if you got in on the Vero Axon that he dropped today. I was really tempted, but need to save for something else. No, I didn't, technically. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Pelicans have feelings too. Please be mindful. They do, they do have feelings. I would imagine a pelican feels roughly the same thing we do after being hit by a Mazda truck going 60 miles an hour. Um, David L thanks for donation. He says, amazing. Thanks, man. You're amazing. Oh, I missed your super chat. Okay, I'm sorry. Hold on. I'm going back up. Oh, yeah, I did. Wait, I missed... Did I miss a couple? Jaw Waring, thanks for donation. How does the button slash action on that Civivi compare to the element and butt lock? The button lock element is my favorite for fidgeting. It's pretty good. It doesn't feel exactly as clicky. I mean, the, the, the button lock elementum is still definitely a, a, high, a higher quality knife all the way around. The action feels a little bit better, but the Civivi is really good. Freak style, thanks for your donation. Spider Coast Southern is no longer in production, is it? 
Also, do you like pens? The Saga pen is awesome. I just got one. I've been hearing that. I do like pens. I don't have a lot of experience with them. And yes, I do believe the Spider Coast Southern is discontinued. I would like to see them bring that back. That would be super cool. I've owned two PM2s. Oh, you have already. So you've already decided that you don't like them, Benjamin. Have you have you tried a Shaman? I know they're crazy overpriced right now. Have you tried that knife? Have you tried the Para 3? I like the Para 3 way more than I like the PM2. Uh, Neil Knight, thanks for the question. Very generous. MC, love your channel. In the last year, I went from having a cheap Kershaw a uh, year ago to now having a knife workbench, nine Spider Ghost, three CTs, a Microtech, three Benchmades, a Griptilian, or in my case, a Ritter Hogue. Dang, dude. Well, RIP your bank account. Thanks for sharing some of that with me. Uh, that's awesome, dude. Very cool. Very, very cool. Personally, I don't love any Spyderco lightweight variants. Feels cheap. I, I agree with that. I agree with that. Do I play Elden Ring? Do I play Elden Ring? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> Ooh, I get to talk about Elden Ring. Uh, I just completed my... I respect to blood. I know. Elden Ring. I know. Oh, my God. He's using... Uh... <laughs> He's using Rivers of Blood. Yes, I am. I don't care. I respect to blood because it's freaking OP and they didn't nerf it. So yeah, of course. Uh, main hand, Rivers of Blood. Off hand is plus 25. Uchigatana, Spect, uh, or, or uh, what do you call that? Um, scaled for blood. And then uh, just some whatever armor. White mask and all of that other stuff because it just tears bosses apart. I'm, I have everything done up to the final boss. And I'm just trying to get all the bell bearings to, you know, level up a bunch of equipment before I go into New Game Plus. I think he's at level 169 as of today. So, yeah, anybody who's playing Elden Ring, if you, <laughs> if you want to know how to tear the game apart, um, just spec blood <laughs> with the Rivers of Blood katana. That's, uh, that's how you do it. For people going, why isn't there an easy mode? There is. You just need to get to the mountaintops of the giants and do a bunch of stuff. And then it is. Uh, let's see here. Is Moonvale still OP? I think I, I think I need to use that for the final boss if I'm not mistaken. I think the final boss is resistant to blood uh, or blood procs. Uh, let's see. Dual giant crushes. I've heard that that's uh, also very good. because, But also, didn't they just buff colossal weapons? Like, if you're two-handing him? So maybe I need to think about that build again. I've got two more uh, respects. So I've got a little bit to play around. Yes, they did. How many how many people in here are playing Elden Ring? Can you type one if you're playing Elden Ring right now? <laughs> I'm a huge Dark Souls fan. So, like, this was a no-brainer for me. I have a feeling that there's probably 50 or so people in here. Oh, at least. A whole bunch of you. <laughs> we'll get back to knife chat. I just was curious to see how many people are playing Elden Ring. Okay. Yeah. 169 also. I I think you can you can you can beat the game way before that. It's just like I just really wanted to, you know, have a lot of different points in a lot of different areas to mess around with a lot of or to be able to switch on the fly without using a larval tier. So there we go. <laughs> nerds. You nerds. <laughs> Oh, uh, man. Let's see. Sorcery, I've also heard, is easy mode. Yeah. Um, let's see. I'll get it when I get a PS5. Me, yeah, same here. I was going to wait for a PS5, and then I just can't get one. I can get my hands on a brown FSD. <laughs> I can get my hands on a factor. I can get my hands on... A Demco 8020, multiple hinderers, a Model C, but I can't get my hands on a freaking PS5. And I absolutely refuse to overpay for one. I will not. Let's see. What knife is going to crash Blade HQ? The um, Check my community tab, the post about it. There is a m4 and micarta shaman dropping as far as i know soon is all blade hq there's no 
date to be found anywhere, not on their Facebook, not on their Instagram, not on their website, nothing. It just says soon. Now, here's the thing. I don't want to go PC because I have a great video game area in my basement and I like to lounge while I play. I like to lean back in my you know, couch with the leg rest and I got my TV and I'm used to a controller. I don't want to sit hunched over on a computer even though I'm sure you're right, PC would be a better experience from like a performance, like a performance based experience. David L, thanks for donation. Uh, very generous. Thank you. You got me started. Shout out to TriStar Edge, an awesome retailer. They are awesome. Excellent customer service. They called me when I had a problem ordering. Big shout out, MC Rules. That's awesome to know. Well, there you go. I have nothing worked out with TriStar Edge, but I've heard that they're awesome and I've had a good experience at least browsing. So yeah, check them out for sure. PS5 Master Race. I don't understand the console console versus console versus PC thing. Like, oh, I mean, you know, I my perspective on all that is just play whatever. Like, they're all obviously great, right? People have different arguments for different things. Like, but there's there's obviously enough people who enjoy one of those three corners that they're prominent in the industry. So there's obviously good things to be said about everybody. Some people feel very strongly. That's a di the, the hardcore gaming community is very they get real salty about this or that. Um, oh God, am I inadvertently starting a, yeah, no, I don't care. <laughs> I just play whatever you like. Um, I, I'm considering buying a Nintendo Switch just for Smash Bros. And I kind of want to try Breath of the Wild, right? I'm not above any of, I'm not like specific, I have a PS4. And I used to have a 360. I'll, I'll, I'll buy whatever I feel like is the most, you know, whatever's going to work for me the best. Uh, or have them all, sure. I don't have enough time to, to give them all the love that they would deserve for the amount of money I'd have to put into them. But apparently I have enough time for thousands of dollars in pocket knives. I don't know. That's a ridiculously, that's a contradictory statement. Uh, <laughs> I'll mail you a PS5 for multiple hinders and a... And a, <laughs> and a factor. I feel like you'd be winning in that that uh, trade off there. Paul, no, I do not. But thank you for asking. Uh, knives are a much better investment. That's true. Let's see. Daniel Lucero, thanks for donation. A bro, I've bought three knives in the last two months, and now I'm officially a tip up. Carrier 8020.5 Ruder Hogan ZT0562. It's better, right? Speaking of master race, it's <laughs> tip up master race. I'm kidding. Um, let's see. Who who are you asking, Steven? Who are you asking? <laughs> oh, okay. There you go. You're in timeout, poopy pants. Uh, let's see. Uh, love it when you talk about REC. They're my local shop in Ohio. Great guys. Yeah. Rivers of Trailer is awesome. I, I actually have an affiliate program with them. They're great. And they have one of the greatest, um, like, I, I like their combination of, like, the avocado stuff for uh, <laughs> the avocado, like the shavocado, right? The shaman and the pair of three. <laughs> oh, yeah. He in timeout. He in timeout. Uh, let's see. When do I announce the giveaway? I have to have everything all together before I do it. Probably a lot closer to 100K. Um, I'm almost certain that as soon as he's out of timeout, he'll come back and do it. Like, it's inevitable. And then I'll just get rid of him permanently. <laughs> That's fine. 
I'll give him a chance. You, what I've been doing is just automatically hammering people out of here, but yeah, I'll give everybody a chance. Um, it's not a live stream unless I totally boot somebody, right? There's always one. That's just that's just probability. There's 437 people in here. Uh, let's see. Tip down feels too old school. I mean, like it's okay if it's not a flipper. Then then like if it's not a flipper, there's no way it's gonna accidentally deploy. <clears throat> Excuse me. How do I enter the giveaway? There's a little note cards on the left side of the screen that'll tell you step by step exactly how to do that. Uh, let's see here. Mm. Thoughts on the Kaiser Vanguard Assassin? Is it better than the original? I have one. I don't. I don't know. Let Let me compare them. We don't need a mod. It's fine. They, that like, <laughs> people are gonna do that. It's the internet. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> I've got I've got plenty of Gatorade to deal with it. Uh, let's see here. Ratio is one half watching to lights get after it. Yeah, I agree. Absolutely. What's that little green knife? That's the uh, that's the Kaiser um, uh, original. Absolutely. Which is creative marketing. Think about it. Every time somebody types in original button lock on Google, it's going to bring up the Kaiser original. <laughs> oh, that's clever. If that was their intention, I think that was pretty clever. <laughs> two sun knives have ruined you too much value i mean okay uh there's a lot more out there uh there's a there are so many things in every direction a half step in any direction will ruin you off of two sun knives uh let's see here yes randy smith that is exactly what they are uh, if you go to the, um, the forbidden websites that sell nothing but clones, you can easily see that those are rebranded, which is why I have such a problem with the way that they market their stuff. So yes, you are exactly right. Uh, let's see here. The brown knife is sweet. A absolutely. I love the brown FSD is amazing. Uh, shipping times is enough reason to never buy two. Well, I mean, yeah, like, there's good stuff out there. And I, you know, the, I'm not, I'm not like opposed to reviewing a Tucson. I just need to see a design that's something I want to, I want to see something that really speaks to me. Ah. Uh. Is the Direct Delta still your favorite OTF from Microtech? Yes. That's their best design, in my opinion. The, my favorite OTF ever is always going to be, unless they come out with something better, the Model C is, I think, the best OTF design that I've ever handled. Does the uh, Chevalier compare to the Malibu at all? It seems like that was Sadivi's intention. Um, yeah. Uh, kind of. I mean, it, it just feels like a budget Malibu, right? Do you guys want to see them side by side? There you go. It's a little bit bigger. The Malibu still feels like it's got that he more solid, heavy kind of, you know, it just, it has that oomph. The Civivi feels like a Civivi. Anybody who's handled a ProTech and a Civivi, you know what I'm talking about, right? Um, but yeah, I mean, will this serve as a really great placeholder? Absolutely. But if you buy that, you're still going to want to chase down a Malibu. That's just, it's just going to happen. Uh, MC, how many microfiber cloths? You have so many, so many, and they're all just stuffed in this husky like multi-compartment drawer thing that I have over to the left. <laughs> so many. <laughs> oh man. I really want your thoughts on hunting knives. I'm not the best person to ask because I don't I don't do, I don't hunt or skin anything. I mean like not that I'm against it. I just don't do it. So I, I'm not the best person to ask. Like I can tell you 
kind of like how a geometry will work against you know general material but i don't know like people who regularly skin game they have very very specific and it all differs i've noticed there's a wide it's just like any any you know so anybody who's got an opinion about something uh there's not like a specific it's not all exactly the same thing so a lot of people just prefer a lot of different stuff for that you know i i don't know if i i could be able to if if my word on that would mean much uh the titanium and carbon fiber knife where well this is aluminum and carbon fiber this is the uh deadlock model c the custom otf that's the only thing i can see out here that's got any type of carbon fiber on it uh man there's 400 there's almost 500 people in here this this is awesome you guys are great mm. you guys want to see something crazy so first off here's who you want to follow Here's what I'm about to show. I have not unboxed these on the channel yet, but you guys have probably seen them on my Instagram, so I'm gonna leave that right there. That's who you wanna follow. Which one of these is the, yeah. Scott sent me these. These are uh, TF4s. Oh, mama. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah. South African custom knife makers. Good God, man. These are just freaking crazy. I got, there's two of them here. The other one is a little bit smaller. Um, yeah, people saying don't drop it. I agree. Uh, this guy's just a little bit smaller. I'm going to flip this off camera so I don't drop it. So there we go. Oof. Damasteel, Zirconium, and Zircotai, or Black Tie Mask, I think is officially what we say there because I don't think it's officially Zerkatai, but it's the same idea. Yeah, gorgeous. Let me get that, get that guy back in the uh, case there just because that's a little nerve-wracking holding that much exposed value. <laughs> um, but yeah, that guy is, uh, uh, he, he is, as of right now, I don't think, like obviously a master custom knife maker. I don't think he's enormously well known. And if you are looking to get a superb custom knife made, I mean like if you are the type of person who spends that type of money on knives, yeah, that's that's that kind of like supreme level of quality you're gonna be after. And his prices are actually very fair. I mean, we're talking half of what it would cost. This exact same thing, you want it from Brian Nadeau. You know, understandably though, I mean, uh, Brian Nadeau has some really unique, crazy stuff, and there's a little bit more, a little bit more intricate stuff that goes into some of his, maybe. Um, but you're you're talking quite a bit less than something from Brian Nadeau, and that's no disrespect to Brian. It's just factually the difference in cost, right? Uh, let's see here. We get some more factor things. Yeah, sure. Oh, when you pull this all the way down, ah, the clicks. So when it's closed, if you just click that down a little bit, you get an extra one. Uh, <laughs> so good. Uh, let's see. Oh, did anybody notice that my um, XM18 three and a half inch has a titanium, the, uh, the three V for monkey edge? Yeah, I scored a uh, Battle Black Titanium Scale off Hinder's site. Um, ooh, yeah, that is just supreme now. Full tie, 3V, XM18, 3.5 inch Spanto in Battle Black. Oh, yeah, that's a, that's a special one in the collection now for sure. Uh, what was that odd knife he just flipped? That's the Winter Blade Co. Factor. That is a prototype or pre-production, like very, very close to full production. Uh, there's only three of those out there. Me, Levon from KNP, and Nick Shabazz have one. Um, and they they have not released yet. This is the Wii Press Check, and I honestly like it a lot because it's quite a bit different than anything Wii has put out here lately. I, I'll tell you this. It's really cool. I just wish they had made it bigger. 
It's like seven and three quarter inches. This looks like a knife that was supposed to be nine and a quarter. Um, this is cool. I like it. And the color setup and like where they've got the inlay, it's just cool. It's really, really neat. And I love the blade shape. I just wish it was a little bit bigger. But people who like smaller knives, you might really like that. The Winter Blade Co. will be in production. I think he said he's taking pre-orders super late this month or possibly in May. Winter Blade Co. on Instagram. That's where you want to go. Winter Blade Co. on Instagram. Brian Winters. So direct all your questions to him. <laughs> um, uh, second from the left. What is it? It looks amazing. This is the new Brown FSD Custom. It's a liner lock operated, well, a button operated liner lock, which is on the reverse side and operated with your index finger. Has a fuller and wonderful, wonderful ergonomics. Oh, I love this. I love this knife so much. Pricey, but you know, that's when you're looking at small batch, hand ground blades, right? It's a custom CNC for sure on the scales, but really awesome. And the texturing is on the clip too. This is a sweet knife. And the reverberation, like the steel on titanium reverberation on that thing is great. Uh, I know a few of you uh, got FSDs here recently. He does 20 CV and CBM 154. I would have taken either, but I got a 20 CV variant, so I was pretty pumped about that. What's the brand of the Alpha Beast? This guy? This is uh, PMP. Uh, the only place you're going to find these right now, well, you're not going to find them anywhere because they are, they've yet to actually be delivered. This was a prototype sent to Jim Skelton, and he sent it to me to take a look at. All the ones that were pre-ordered are set to ship sometime in summer. And if you find them on the secondary market, they're bound to be absurdly overpriced. You can still find the original PMP Beast out there, which is slightly less thick, still incredibly thick. This is 0.4 inches on the stock, the PMP Beast is 0.3. Uh, let's see here. Uh, anybody who's not entered, since there's 500 of you in here now, directions are right here. Link right at the top of the description. And if you're wondering how to become a Knight of the Round, which uh, Knights, you can show off your exclusive Excalibur emoji chat. Those people in chat who have the little knight helmets beside their names, those are people who have joined my membership program. You can find the link for my membership program also in the description. Second link, $2 a month that supports the channel. You'll get a, ch a color changing badge next to your name, which will change color depending on how long you've been a knight. Uh, first blue, then green, then purple, then red, then gold, and then finally platinum. Uh, which I think there's a few people in, who have been in here for, uh, been a member for two years or more. You'll also get all those exclusive sword emojis that people are using in chat there. Um, yeah. Freak style. Thanks, donation. What is the best bang for buck knife at the $500 price point with good higher end steel and titanium scales? Hmm, full titanium, because if it doesn't have to be full titanium, I'm going to say Hinderer. I'm going to say the Hinderer XM18. Um, if it has to be full titanium, my pick is the Umnimzon. If it has to be full titanium, probably the Umnimzon at $450. The problem is you can't find them. But that is like, you, you know, collector knife, check. Enthusiast knife, check. User knife, definitely check. Full tie, frame lock. S45VN, runs on phosphor bronze washers. I mean, the Umnimzon is, you know, to a lot of people, that is the knife, right? And I prefer it way, anybody who's waiting to shout Sabenza, I prefer it way over the Sabenza, way over the Sabenza. Mark Mole, hey, what's up, man? Whoa, cool, it's been a bit. Yeah, 14 months. What's up, man? Oh, you mean it's been a bit since you've been in a live stream. Um, cool, well, welcome back. Terrell Johnson, thanks for donation. Any thoughts on that new Benchmade Shootout Auto? It looks pretty cool. Uh, Benchmade has mentioned that they're going to send me one, so at some point it'll be here. Uh, it's just not here yet. Carlos Flores, welcome to Knights Around. Uh, Knights, raise your swords for Carlos. Enjoy the badges and swords, friend. Conrad, I love you too. <laughs> uh, where do I store my collection? I have two Pelican 1450 cases. 
with now pack foam. I have a 40, they're both 40 count. One of them is full, the other one is getting there. Um, but I have lots of knives that are not in the, I probably have about 70 to 80 knives total, but I, only, I, I keep the nicer ones in my Pelican cases, right over here to the left. I should have just bought a bigger case. I just, I didn't think I was gonna buy so many knives in 2021, so. Uh, did we, oh, did we get another, I'm sorry. Okay, no, never mind. I don't know what you guys are laughing about. Donation question, please. Did I miss you? Circus. I'm looking. I don't know what that means. Did I miss a, uh, the chat's too far back and I can't, I can't go to it. Did I miss something? I'm sorry. Here, here to the Knights of the Round Table. What's up? Just another day. What's up, man? I'm sorry. If you had a question, I missed it. I'm sorry. You bought a knife in 2021? Um, so I've mentioned this before, since this, since I generate income from the channel, it technically operates as a business, which means I have to do taxes on it. But that also means I get to write off my knife purchases. So I have to keep track of all of them. I bought a lot of knives in 2021. My tax guy was like, what the heck? What the heck is this? <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm prepared if I ever get audited, but I what a weird day for the... <laughs> what a weird day if I'm ever audited. <laughs> God. Being a YouTuber is very... It's a very strange experience. If you are a monetized YouTuber, and, you know, especially if you have, like, affiliate stuff, or... I mean, people who have, like, paid sponsorships, it just adds layers to it, you know? Yeah, taxing, <laughs> Mike. <laughs> what do you think of the Skiff Accomplice? I don't know. I've never seen it. Maybe I should have. Um, the solid black knife next to the TM. That's a Protec Malibu. This is the black textured Protec Malibu that nobody has yet. <laughs> um, that was part of the you know deal with Protec is. You know, they gave me, um, or they let me buy two. Um, you know, they said, if you give one away. So that's what happened there, is they sold me one and then gave me another one, and they said, if you give this away. And if you guys remember, I gave that away for 90K, the other textured one. So uh, let's see here. No, they have not come out yet. I just have a lot of stuff that's not out. Oh, it's so cool. I'm so cool. I get, to, I get to touch things before other people. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm trying to like, I have to remember to make fun of myself often because the thing that I'm gloating about is being able to touch pieces of metal that have been put together, you know, before other people. I mean, I'm, I love this stuff and I'm glad you guys do too, but I just, you know, it's like sometimes I have to go, hold on, let's, let's be selective about what we're bragging about here. Um, what do you think about the new Civivi Chevalier? <laughs> Why was the last word not capitalized? I like it. It's really great. I, I think you guys will like it too. I'm glad they decided to do 14C28N. Favorite gravity knives? Um, the Riot XO. I, it's the only one I've ever handled, but it's also freaking cool. I just, you know, they're hard to get. What time is it? Oh, 48. I don't want this to end. We're going to go a little bit later than normal, guys. So just bear with me, okay? Just ask if you'll receive any Kubi brand knives someday. Yes, I actually have lots of reviews on Kubi, and Kubi regularly sends me knives. Actually, I should reach out to them again. I think they have some new stuff. But yeah, they do. Kubi makes great stuff. They're underrated. They are a serious budget knife contender. Uh, up against QSP, uh, CJRB, Civivi, uh, whoever else, right? I like pie. I also, I also like pie. Great. <laughs> um, the Paragon Estiletto without springs. Um, I'm considering buying a um, Paragon Estiletto just because it's crazy. That is one of that is such a crazy knife. The single action. God, what is that thing? Like 10 inches? Single action OTF is like 10 inches. That's ridiculous. That's an automatic sword. <laughs> 
Um, get Getiver Sixer. Getiver G Tiver Sixer. Anyways, welcome to Nice Around. Nice uh, Razor Swords for G. Uh, all hail G, because I can't. I'm sorry, but I do appreciate you supporting my channel. We have a com so guys. Listen, everybody who's watching, to here if you're what look at my index finger and just follow it. <laughs> here are the instructions for entry. Okay, step one: make sure you're subscribed. Step two: there's a link in the description. All you need to do is open up the description to this live stream. Click on the first link short little video leave a comment under that video that's all you gotta do mr happy thank you i'm glad that you're enjoying my content <laughs> um, what's your favorite out of the knives on the table mm. uh, uh, it's hard it's hard i don't know I mean, I'm always going to be a Hinderer fan. This is new. I'm in a honeymoon phase. This is the best OTF of all time. It's hard to answer. My favorite out of the three on the table is probably the Hinderer, the full tie 3V Hinderer, because let's say, like, how many people own this? The Monkey Edge Frag, but with a titanium, and it's in Battle Black, and it's in 3V, and it's full tie. That's a rare hinder. I'm proud of that one. That was not easy to get. I had to get lucky on the knife and the scale. Probably that. I love the brown FSD. Probably goes Hinder, brown, Model C. The brown is a hollow grind, an aggressive hollow grind. Uh, the brown is a laser beam. This, oh, did you hear that? Let me go again. Ugh! The brown is a freaking laser beam, guys. Look, look at this. Can you see? That is a nice, ooh. Ooh, it's a freaking thin hollow grind. You know, you can hear it. Listen. Listen, can you hear this? Oh. <laughs> it's like little fibers of dead skin are just popping off of that thing. Yeah. Best place to trade knives? Um, I mean, people use Reddit, Facebook. Uh, I Probably the, the one that, you know, I mean... I like Blade Forms because you have to pay for a gold membership, so you have to be a gold member, and not that expensive. It's like 35, 40 bucks a year, or something like that. But then you get feedback from your trade. So, and other people have feedback. So you can see how many good interactions people have had, right? My Blade Forms profile has something like 55 positive interactions and zero negative. So I was trading all the time. The more you trade, the more rep the more positive reputation you build up, the more people are likely to trade with you. And it just, that was my, it was worth the 30 to $40 a year to be on Blade Forms. Even though it can be a bit toxic over there sometimes, it's just good. Um, should I get a Manix 2 with titanium, flitanium frames or, uh, and cage or a smock? The smock is going to itch that fidget factor get a smock in titanium if you want fidget factor go with the smock if you want the more the more capable user knife the manix 2 the manix 2 is one of the best daily user knives like of its size especially if you want usa right but uh let me tell you this if you've never taken apart the manix and you're gonna you're thinking about installing the cage that is not a fun first experience i have a video on it it's like 30 minutes long. I show how I did it. It was kind of clunky. It's not perfect, but you can do it, but you're in for a ride. The smock, probably a lot easier to put together if you're going to go, uh, you know. The smock's going to be easier to disassemble, easier to maintain, better fidget factor. The Manix 2 is a better overall user, in my opinion. What's the OTF? This is a custom Hawk Deadlock Model C, the only OTF in the world that has zero literally zero blade play that blade is completely and totally locked out with no movement but they're expensive and super rare saw one of those on arizona custom knives this exact knife this which originally sold for a thousand or eleven hundred it was like twenty one hundred dollars on arizona custom knives don't pay two grand for that don't do that 
Zero. Zero. Are you going to CCKS next weekend? There are going to be some beautiful uh, show exclusive knives or shiros. Mm. I am not, but it sounds cool. Let's see. You sell your knives in Walmart parking lots. Yikes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, hey, you know, I mean, whatever works. Yeah. I mean, but it's a custom. These are made one at a time, USA, and they're custom knives, not mass produced. So that's the thing. You're gonna pay more for stuff like that because it's not it's not all assembly line machine made, right? No, JC Baron, no. You need to follow these instructions right here. There's a link in the description. Go to the link, open the link, It'll take you to a video, then leave a comment under that video. <laughs> Do you offer PayPal protection on your parking lot knives? <sighs> How can you get it? The Model C? Uh, you gotta follow Hawk Knives on Instagram and just Pay attention to when they drop, go to their website and they'll say like, hey, we're going to do a batch. When these drop, they sell lightning fast. It's one of those, a lot of stuff that's out here right now is, same with the brown, the hinderers. As soon as they're in stock, they're gone. It's just, you know, the demand for that stuff is through the roof. SMKW is way overpriced. Uh, most of their stuff is going to be the same price that it is anywhere else. There, there's always a few oddballs on every retailer, but as far as I know, Smoky Mountain Knife Works has the same pricing that all of the retailers have. Lamnia is a website where it's overpriced. Whoever's running that site obviously snags a bunch of stuff up and then sells it for a lot more money once it's out of stock everywhere else. But Smoky Mountain Knife Works? No. There's lots of people in here who I'm sure have done fair dealings with Smoky Mountain Knife Works. I was going to say, I've never seen anything overpriced at SMKW. You're talking about SMKW in person in Tennessee. Why would their, why would their shop prices be more expensive than their online prices? I'm sure they advertise their website in the store. So why would they be like, since you're physically here, it's going to be 20 bucks more. <laughs> really? Why? I don't, that doesn't make any sense to me. Trust me, they are. I mean, I could just ask them. I, I talk with them periodically. I feel like that's not true. I'm sorry. I, I just don't, I don't think that that's true. <laughs> yeah, it makes no sense. Uh, Knife Center finally came through through Roxy 3 pre-order. That's cool. Good deal. Um, let's see. Where would you rank your rocks? Did he go to in your collection? So I did a rank video for like my favorite knives and the Rockstead is way up there. Uh, it's not my absolute favorite, but I think it's, it's in my top 10 in my entire collection for sure. E-Rock, that's great, man. Good, good deal. Good for you, bud. What sharpening stones do you recommend? I don't know. I don't have that much experience with different sharpening stones. I have the ones that were made for the KME, and I like those. Michael Cuzzer, thanks for the donation. Anyone make aftermarket skills for Yojimbo yet? I don't know. I feel like, did Flytanium do Yojimbo scales? I can't remember. I don't know. If somebody has an answer, just, you know. Going to Blade Show this year? I think so. It's, I'm still not... We have, a, we have another vacation coming up that's right around the same time, and it's going to be financially difficult to do both. I've heard that. Andrew Lyons says, Ar Ar uh, well, I want to say Arkansas. I know it's Arkansas. Makes uh, amazing stones, probably. Over 200 knives this year? No. I've probably reviewed you know, well over 200 knives in a year. But as far as knives that I have owned or purchased, no. But yeah, knives that come to my table, oh, definitely. Definitely over 200 in a year. 
I think. Maybe a little over. Five days a week. If I if I review a different knife five days a week, how many weeks are in a year? Five times however many weeks. 52? Are there 52 weeks in a year? I can't remember. What's five times 52? Five times two is 10. So uh, it'd be uh, uh, five, five or, I'm sorry, 260? Yeah, 260. Ah, I got it before you typed it. Math in my brain. I did. I made numbers. I make numbers in my brain. The human calculator metal complex can do on the fly simple addition. <laughs> You're welcome, folks. 260 knives in a year. <laughs> Things took a math turn. That <laughs> did. That hurt my it hurt my toes. I was curling my toes trying to think of the <laughs> trying to do that math. Stupid. <laughs> oh my god. Big brain, yeah. <laughs> make numbers. Metal complex, make numbers. Put numbers together to make bigger number. <laughs> Fire! Yeah, there we go. What, <laughs> what knife is the thinnest blade? Probably open L. I don't know. Uh, uh, what's that brand? Uh... Oh, what? Who makes the Monza? The carbon, the the Tyson carbide blades. They're pretty thin. I don't know. <laughs> Sandrine. They make pretty, uh, pretty thin ones. I ain't doing that. Ma four fifteen. Just trust that I did it in my head. I know the answer, but I'm. I don't have to say. <laughs> <laughs> TRM is also pretty thin. I mean, it's like, here's the thing. You want to consider like behind the edge thickness, right? I mean, it's like, okay, could they have ground this in an absolutely insane hollow grind and made it suit? It actually is hollow ground. Could they, this is 0.4 on the stock, right? They could have made this hollow grind so aggressive and made it ridiculously thin down here, but you still have to push the wedge through the material. So you want to do, it's like, how tall is it? How aggressive is the drop? Is it flat? Is it hollow? Is it convex? How thin is it behind the edge? What are you actually pushing through the material? And what is the material, right? And what's the blade made out of? And how well is it heat treated? All of those things come into play when you're cutting things, right? They shouldn't come into play when you're just cutting up in an Amazon package, but that's what most of us do with our knives. And all of those elements are things that crazy knife people consider while they're cutting open Amazon packages that contain usually other knives. And it's a big pile of burning irony garbage. Um, <laughs> the PMP shook the whole table. Yeah, it does that. Uh, let's see. <laughs> What's the next watch purchase? I don't know. I don't know. This is freaking ruining me. The Formex Reef is just absolutely insane. I love this watch. Um, I think it's time to do the giveaway. So we have two. Again, there are two knives to give away tonight. Um, they're not anything crazy. I'm not giving anything crazy away yet. Saving the crazy stuff for 100K. But I do have cool, two uh, cool knives to give away. And like I said, one of them is the unclaimed knife from two weeks ago, which is the um, EDC TAC button lock from Concept. This is titanium, G10 and S35VN, thumb stud opener, button lock, flipper, fidgety knife, right? It's a cool knife, 130 or so. And then the other one, it's again, it's nothing crazy. It's just one that I have reviewed before and it's time to give it away. And that's the gigantic Civivi Bull Mastiff. Uh, these are in 9CR18 MOV, just big freaking stupid cleavery thing. I figured somebody would like this, right? These are the kinds of things that I like to give away on kind of laid back live streams. So let me fire up the iPad. Give me a sec here. Uh, I am going to keep going for a little bit after um, everything's done here. Give me a sec. Oh, dang it. My password. <laughs> there it is. Okay. Uh, good news, everybody. I remembered the password to my iPad. <laughs> okay, hold on. 
So one person was going to win this and one's going to win this. I don't normally do that, but the person who won that two weeks ago never claimed it. So, geez, Louise, um, I will give people instruct the, the two who win, I'll give you instructions on how to contact me. Um, hang on one second. Make sure this is... So I got to copy the link for the current... Oh, wait, no, not the live stream. I need to copy the link for the entry video. If you have not entered... If you haven't entered, seriously, there's six, wow, there's 639 people in here. Seriously, subscribe, because we're working towards 100K, and the 100K giveaway will be absolutely ridiculous. But subscribe, and then there's a link in the description. You need to go to the link right under the in the description of this current live stream. Just open the description, click on the first link that says enter here, leave a comment under that video. That's all you got to do. And you need to be 18, at least, and you need to live in the, con well, you're, the address that I'm shipping to needs to be inside the continental United States. It's like I always say, if you live outside the United States, you can still win, but I got to ship it to a friend, a family member, or somebody you trust in the knife community who lives inside the continental United States first for legal reasons, which are very important to me as a person who creates content on YouTube. That's something that I have to consider. I have to. I'm sorry. Um, anyways, let's see here. There's the link. I know you guys are. What if you're five, you can't enter or win? Congrats on typing that sentence though. Your parents are probably super proud. Not super smart though, because they left you unsupervised on YouTube watching knife content. Um, <laughs> the guy's like, bring my parents into this. How dare you? <laughs> Sorry, that was uncalled for. Um, hang on. Okay, here's the comment picker site. So. Let's undo this in front of everybody so everybody can see it. And we should zoom in, right? So everybody can see. We're gonna reload. Comment, why are you doing that? Just reload the website, there we go. Fresh site, let's zoom in. So everybody can see the link, right? So the naysayers can go and try the link. There it is right there, should we zoom in more? Yeah, let's zoom in. That's the link to the exact, that's this in the description. That's the link. What is this? Oh, and Bees Blades is live right now. <laughs> I'm subscribed to Bees. So <laughs> when you're done with my live stream, go watch his live stream. But not yet. Wait. So there's the link. You can type it in and make sure that I'm actually pulling comments from the video that I'm saying that I'm pulling comments from. There's no way to freaking cheat this. We're going to filter duplicate users so that those of you who left like 20 comments is not going to help you. Then we're going to go down here and we're going to click get YouTube comments. It's going to find all the comments. I'm sure there's well more than the people who are actually in here because a good 30 to 40 percent or in this case, double. Yeah, double half of the people who commented left. So that's fine. That happens. 1,281 of you left comments. So you have a 1,200. What was it? 1,280, well, one in 1,281 chance of winning. I have to say this every time. The comment picker website does a little animation where it scrolls through random names. It's not going to actually flash 1,281 names in the animation before it chooses one. We'd be here all night. It's just a surf level animation, but it is truly selecting a random winner from everybody who commented. All right, so here we go. The winner, oh, we're doing the, uh, we're doing the Civivi first, okay? The winner of the Civivi is Country Boy, 1976. He says, put me in, please. <laughs> there you go. You are the winner of the uh, Civivi Bull Mastiff. Congratulations. Uh, what do you need to do? You need to email me at metalcomplex87 at gmail.com with your current shipping information. I will ship it out to you this coming Thursday. Please don't email me if you're not that person. Seriously, it's super easy to tell who the actual winner is. It's so easy. You're not ultra hacker ninja status. Please don't try. Please don't be dumb. Okay, now we're going to draw for uh, the Kaiser EDC TAC button lock. So whoever wins this is super lucky because we had to draw twice for it because the original winner never claimed it. So we're going to pick a new winner. It cannot be Country Boy, 1976, so if by some random chance he actually wins again, I'm not going to give him both. 
He's already won once tonight, so I'm not going to let him win twice. The winner is Bing Bing. <laughs> I'm not going to read that. <laughs> I'm not going to read that name out loud, but you won. Keep up the good work. Congrats on <laughs> Why is that your name? Why is this your name? Come on. Why? <laughs> Come on. Jeez. <laughs> okay. Congrats to Bing Bing and Cowboy. Um, you guys both. <laughs> My God, um, is it, is it, are they here? Are either of them here? <laughs> Please email me at metalcomplex87 at gmail.com uh, to claim your prize with your current shipping information. Like I said, each of you guys, uh, I'll mail these out next Thursday because that's the next time I have time to do that. Um, is and Are either of them in here? They have a week. They have seven days. I will redraw these again. It's not the first time I've had to do this. I will redraw these if they're not in here. Bing Bing is here. Is he in here? Seriously, is he here? I want you to t explain your name if he's in here. Uh, I'm looking for his name here. Bing Bing is here. Good. I love it when they're actually here. <laughs> okay. And then Cowboy. Is Cowboy not in here? <laughs> there he is. <laughs> I can't just saw his comments. I can't read your name or your comment out loud, but I'm I'm happy for you. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I mean that's you know, I can't control what happens live, it's just gonna happen, right? So <laughs> okay. Um I'm gonna get some knives back out here. We'll go for another 15 or 20 minutes. Congratulations to the winners. I appreciate you um, hanging out, Bing Bing. <laughs> My God. I'll send all the uh, original packaging as well. I know the, the Bull Mastiff came out of this case right here, but I've got the original packaging for everything. And they're brand new. Both knives are completely and totally unused. So we'll just put them, we'll just put everything back out here. There we go. What else do I need to, that guy. And, oh gosh, we're horribly off center. There we go. Got to spread these out or it looks funny. Looks like I'm not a professional, right? Got to have a professional YouTube set up here. Let's move this. Here, I'll save one card out. These are your only steps now. Make it easy. If you're still here, that's the only thing I ask of you. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. Yeah, thanks to, thanks for coming. Everybody who was just hanging out to see if you won. I appreciate it. Thanks for hanging out with us. To everybody else who likes to hang out after the live stream, 15 minutes of whatever you guys want to talk about. Tell the man so he stops. Tell who? Me? He made his account in middle school. That is awesome. Go to beater pocket knife. The rat, the rat one, is my go to. Uh, do I recommend the Brachial from Microtech? Yeah, it's an awesome knife. It's actually one of the more reasonable EDC knives that uh, that uh, Microtech makes because that like the stitch is just ridiculous. So is the Socom Elite. They're huge. They're great knives. People carry them, but the Brachial makes a lot more sense. The LUDT is the only side opening auto that they make that makes more sense than the Brachial. As that's in production. Did I pre-order the CKF Evo 3.0? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Hey, MC, where's the best place to pick up my first hinder? Any tips or tricks? Uh, I found DLT trading to be the most reliable because their hinder drops are extremely frequent as far as hinder drops go. They order massive amounts of hinder knives because they can do that. Uh, they have the best, um, the, the widest variation because they do so many exclusives. Um, I think the guys at DLT are literal hinder nuts. On top of that, they absolutely have the best selection on the internet of aftermarket parts. And they also order lots of titanium scales. Usually, if they do an exclusive, they will mention it on their Instagram well before they drop. So, DLT trading, there's links in the description for DLT. Use my links. 
and then also follow them on Instagram. That's your best bet. But signing up for email notifications on every retailer that you think, like every major retailer is going to carry hinder knives. So sign up for um, notifications everywhere. Follow Hinder Knives on, on Instagram. Follow all your favorite retailers on Instagram. Um, and join the Hinder Knives Users and Collectors Facebook group for some some little bit of insider info. What is the price for a Microtech OTF? The least expensive are going to be like the UTX-70s. Those are the little tiny guys. I don't know if they run like 240, 250, 260. The ones that people really like, like the UTX-85 and the Ultratech, are going to run like 280 to 300-ish. Um, and then for your bigger boys, like the Dirac Delta is going to be like 380. Combat Troodon is going to be 500. Scarab 2 is going to be 525. Something around there. Uh... Who won Cowboy and Beat Boop or what? I can't remember. Bing Bong or whatever his name was. <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> um, you can scroll back and it, I showed the, the names of the winners here. Yeah. Bing Bing. <laughs> uh, still don't get the price of that Scarab 2. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty ridiculous. Scarab 2 feels 400 or 450. But then again, I don't know. Like, what are you going to, what are we going to do? You know, they sell, if they made three times as many as they currently do, they would still sell them. You know, I paid 650 bucks for my Shadow Scarab, and that was dumb. Like, this, this was a dumb purchase, but I love it. <laughs> I don't know why I paid 650 for this. Yes, I do, because I love this knife. It's still way too much money, right? Things can be overpriced, and you can still love them. It's just human beings. We're all dumb in some way, as at least as many ways as we are smart. Is the giveaway over? Yes, the giveaway has ended. I'm, we're just hanging out. All 230 of us are just hanging out. <laughs> No more draws. Nope. We're just hanging out. Regular chat now. But make sure you're subscribed because at the current pace, we will reach 100,000 subscribers in about a month and a half. The channel has returned to its regular pace of gaining between 80 and 200 subscribers a day, which I'm very thankful for. We had a spike in just... I don't know. There were lots of videos that I was that I had done that were generating a crazy number of daily subscribers. But I knew that that would eventually flatten out. That's YouTube. So the channel has gone back to its usual pace. So a month to a month and a half, something like that. I guess... Uh, congrats on 100K. I'm saying that's awesome. Thank you. Thank you very much. I never thought it was going to be a thing. I will... Uh, Apparently, you get a silver play button thing at 100K, so I'll make sure and share that with you guys um, when that day comes. <laughs> That's very weird to think that YouTube will, at some point in the very near future, be sending me an award. Uh, <laughs> That's pretty cool. But I am very proud. I, you know, I put a lot of work into this channel. I'm glad everybody likes it, and it's a blast. So I'm pretty excited. Um, sign some knives and sell. I don't want to profit off my signature. I, I do sell my knives on Patreon. Uh, I have some Patreon members in here who will tell you I only sell knives on Patreon. And when I do sell a knife, I usually cut the price in half because I don't want to make money on the people who already, I don't want to make extra money on the people who already support me. I sell a few, I give a lot of knives away. I do exclusive giveaways on Patreon. I do giveaways here. I give a lot of that stuff away. Periodically, I will sell knives if I'm trying to buy something that I can turn into content. So I feel like it's fair to do that with my patrons who, again, get their own giveaways. But when I, do, when I sell them, I cut the price in half. So they're always getting a deal. A lot of times it's stuff that's hard to get or is just overpriced in general. So... Um, I'm sure I just did a sale. There might be some patrons in here who bought something from me recently. 
So you can find my link for Patreon, as I'm sure you know, uh, right down in the description. Do you think that we could get something good? What do you mean? <laughs> uh, hey, there's a Platinum Knight. What's up, Keith? Appreciate you being here. Let's see. What's up, fellow Kansan? Just wanted to say I really wanted you to be wrong about how great hitters are. Now I'm too broke to subscribe. <laughs> yeah. I think a lot of people really wanted me to be wrong about how great hinders were, and then they get them and they go, gosh, dang it. I mean, there's still, there's always going to be people out here, out there who get them and go, nah, I'm not really into this, but hinders are really good. They just are. Crazy how there's 99,999 other nerds in this community. <laughs> I know, right? Who would have guessed that many people love knives? <laughs> Joseph B., you have my attention. <laughs> quick, quick, do, tell me to do something. I'm paying attention to you. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> MC, I'm going to Blade Show and wondering which of these I should get first. 8020, XM18, or Umnum's on. The 8020 is probably going to be the most, that's going to be the most satisfying purchase for somebody who has never handled any of them. Uh, unless you just, whichever one you love the aesthetic of the most, go handle that one first and then compare and contrast with the other ones. I would go, I mean, me personally, well, it's hard because I own everything but the Umnum Zone and I've owned the Umnum Zone before. If we're talking full tie, go with the 8020. If we're talking not full tie, I'd still go with the XM18. Either way, the Umnum Zon is third, but it's still amazing. So if you like the Umnum Zon look the best, then go with that one. Blame Dexter says, open thick knife. How about a reverse flick? <laughs> and then how about a uh, careful drop shut? God, that thing is just a freaking sharpened sledgehammer. Ridiculous. Thick boy next to the bull mastiff. Okay, here and now this way. <laughs> yeah, there's there. You know, they're relatively like. Oh, they're both big. Oh, never mind. Yeah, one of them is freaking huge. The uh, this guy is like three or four of the blade stocks on the bull mastiff. Uh. It really will take your fingers off. I, I don't want to know. There's a good chance. I don't, I think you'd, I think it'd go halfway through. If you caught yourself the wrong way, it's going to make a pretty deep cut. And you're, you're going to the hospital. Let's say that. Uh, I picked up a 20 CV bug out during the sale. It's kicked my 80, 20.5 out of my pocket for now. Oh, okay, cool. Nice. Glad you like it. Um... Funny how a big knife can be so small. The PMP Alpha Beast makes every, like, even the Cold Steel Espada, like, that, even under that video, even people who own the Cold Steel Espada XL were like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can hear the, like, just the, the utter, like, shock <laughs> in the comment, like, reading their comments was so funny. Uh, let's see. Well, Jared Parker, I'm so, you did make it for general chat, but the actual drawing is over. I'm just hanging out. The The kids are, uh, well, one had track practice, and then they're going over to grandma's for dinner. So it's just me. So I'm just, just hanging out and doing whatever. What do you think of the Cold Steel SR1? Specifically, the Cold Steel SR1 Lite is probably the greatest... Um, cost to durability ratio of any folding knife out there. The SR1 Lite is probably the most durable budget. Fold. In fact, that thing is going to be more durable than most folding knives. And it's, it's, what is it? I think you can get them on Amazon for 50 or 60 bucks. 
They're awesome. I love those knives. I always tell my friends in real life, they're like, I just want a big, crazy tank of a knife. SR1. Light. You won't break the bank. You won't break the knife. Unless you're really dumb or really unfortunate. Uh, Texas American Dane. What's up, man? MC. Awesome. Do TRMs have lockstick a lot? I have only handled the shadow that I handled. No. But that was their, their version of the Axis lock. I think the Atom, I can't remember if I did the Atom or the Neutron. I think it had a little tiny bit, but I, I never, I'm never bothered by liner lock lock stick because it always goes away. So Keith, thanks for the donation. How is the unboxing tool holding up? Perfect. Actually, the Edge is totally fine. This has unboxed quite a few things so far. The Edge is still, it's just fine. The, the, the Edge on this guy is way better than the original. Oh, one thing that I am giving away, and you guys probably know, one thing that there are, that I said this at the beginning of the live stream, if you didn't hear me, the 100K giveaway so far includes three insane knives. There's going to be more, but the three knives it includes so far, two of them are extremely hard to get and extremely popular. One of them is literally impossible to get, unless you're me. <laughs> but seriously, um, it is impossible to get. So three bangers. And then I am giving away, just because I think it's a cool part of channel history, and, and since Keith is in here, um, the original unboxing tool that you guys voted for. This thing has unboxed a crap load of knives and has been a part of so much of my content. Um, I just thought, you know, yeah, I should give this away at 100K. So somebody is going to win my scalpel. I have not yet decided if I'm going to do a group giveaway, meaning give away all of the knives to one person or do them individually. I don't know. It just depends on how complicated that's going to be. Uh, it's going to, that's going to be really costly because of insurance, uh, shipping costs and things like that. Uh, the knives are very valuable. Um, and they're also not, they're not knives I can replace. So um, just, I have to think about that. <laughs> uh let's see here i gotta sign it how do i sign it like scratch my initials into it with a nail or something i don't know whatever whoever wins it if you want me to try to do that i will um but uh yeah i mean it's pretty unmistakable right <laughs> like if somebody wanted to verify like you know i've got you know, thousands of, well, I've got two and a half thousand uploads and I would say 1500 of them. It's something like that include this scalpel. So, um, I don't know, but yeah, like whoever wins it, I guess, if you want me to sign it, I will. So it's such, such a weird thing to think about that people like somebody asked me to sign the box to their knife the other day. And I was like, okay, it's a weird thing when someone asks you to sign it. Cause you know, I don't know. I've now I'm studying around what I'm saying. You guys get what I'm saying. It's kind of a weird thing. Um, I scenic. Thanks for donation. I have a two hour early access pass to blade this year, but I'm still stressed that people will beat me to some rare knives. <laughs> yeah, I, that's a real problem. I understand. Use a Dremel. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's duh. I guess I could do that. I don't want to dick the scalpel up though. Uh, the one in the middle on top is the John Demko River Wolf in collaboration with oh who are they oh I missed the where's the box did I lose the box again I lost it at the beginning of the oh here it is Terra Mundi flipping power through the roof awesome ergonomics as well and as you saw the action is beautiful beautiful okay <laughs> guys this has been fun time for me to sign off i'm hungry and i have to go to the bathroom uh this is a good time there'll be a few more just little laid back live streams as we slowly approach oh david l thanks for donation he says what's the silver knife on top in the middle that's the yeah the did i already read that i'm sorry that's the river wolf did he get it is that the one okay thanks for your donation though um, but yeah, uh, we'll do some more laid back live streams as we slowly approach hundred K and then, 
even though a hundred K the celebration or the live stream is going to take place during the time of the year where YouTube is very low in traffic. Um, that's fine. It comes when it comes. I'm still going to do a huge, crazy giveaway event. Um, so look forward to that probably in June. That's when it looks like it's going to take place. I hope you guys had a good time tonight. This was fun. Uh, make sure you're subscribed. Congrats again to the winners. I hope you all have an excellent rest of your Friday evening and an excellent rest of your weekend. Bye.